but maybe the work isn't done. How do you think people that don't know you would describe you? I think they would say that I'm uh, very arrogant. Do you think you're a hard player to manage? No. That is the picture that somebody made of me and that is following me wherever I go. When I'm looking back and thinking where I came from, who would thought that the guy from Rosengold will, will do this kind of things? Who thought the guy from Rosengold will be captain of the Swedish national team? I think my time is best for going to England. So every time I plan my future, I change it. Your job now is to stand by their new manager. viewers welcome back to another episode of manchester united the save after oh, that, that's not the official title of the save uh but here we are then back again episode three and zlatan ibrahimovic has signed for manchester united it's official 13 million pounds worth of player he's on a massive contract let's not talk about it with rooney out zlatan in and so far things have been going very well since his arrival at the club six goals in three games uh two in europe four in the league he is on fire his average rating so far is is, is a 9.1 folks i mean it's a great signing the team the, the team shape sorry has changed based on the fact we've now signed Zlatan Murata still injured so we'll focus on him when he comes around but so far this is what we're working with things have changed quite a lot um the bat line remains relatively the same, but the midfield is slightly different now. Uh, no Schneider in today, and it's kind of forced my hand a little bit. We're now playing a slightly more progressive attacking unit. And when you've got someone like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, get people around him. Get pace out wide, get him down the wings, get someone in behind him to work together. But at the same time, give him enough space to do what Zlatan does, which is score goals, create magic moments, and uh, give us memories to treasure forever. So I've got Herrera and Sch uh, Schweinsteiger playing in the middle there, just sort of sitting there doing as they do. Herrera's got the license to push forward a little bit. Master just in front. Aterbe and Memphis doing their things on the wing with Zlatan as the central forward, uh, or the centre forward the complete forward. You know, he's a complete man let's, let's face it. Uh, in terms of other parts of the squad, as you can see here, quite a few injuries. Rojo suspended for this one. Uh, Jones, Smalling, Pereira and Schneiderlin all injured. Flaney unregistered. Don't need him for this. Trying to sell him. No one wants him. But this is what happens Manchester United. When you buy a player that doesn't really suit your philosophy, put him on a big wage, try and move him on two years later and he can't do in two years by the way uh this will be a real life thing and you'll all go hm, ben said that uh so yeah fellaini we're trying to get rid of but we haven't got rid of uh, we've brought no one else in i also forgot to mention in the whole of last episode because he's just so not relevant to anything i ever do ashley young was sold for 15 million you might be thinking where he is no one questioned it no one said where's ashley young he's gone he's monaco 15 lovely thank you monaco enjoy that in two years time when he's not working out uh, so we're playing Sporting today. If you can take a look at the fixtures we've had so far, we beat them 5-2 in the first leg. Since that defeat at Everton, uh, a 4-1 victory against Newcastle United. Zlatan got a hat-trick in that one and a 4-0 against West Brom, as I mentioned, the 5-2 uh, against Sporting. They got two away goals, so we're going to have to be careful with that today. Uh, but with a three-goal advantage going into this one, things are looking rather promising. I just want to mention before we get into the game, we also changed a few of the, sh uh, the team instructions. Lots of people seem to ask about it, so I might as well tell you. Uh, we're playing a little bit wider than before, more discipline, sticking to position positions letting the flare players do what they need to do but at the same time keeping enough of a shape that we don't get disconjointed i felt like that was a big problem in that game against everton and since then we've managed to fix it the build up of the attack i'm touching nothing i know you might think ah oh, have a go but so far it seems to be working out if at some point i feel like there's areas we can penetrate in then i will look to uh, rectify that in due course anyway into today's game team talk's gone well sporting the opposition away from home uh, after this if we get through of course we'll do the group stage draw so lots to look forward to if you're enjoying it so far do leave a like on the video uh let's aim for you know 500 yeah go on let's do it come on thank you i love you so then the game has kicked off you didn't need my update for that really did you i'm here as a commentator though really so i feel like i have to fill you in on anything that happens a turbo ball in memphis gets up oh hits the bar good first chance for us in fact let's pull up the uh, the match stats oh corner kick sporting's way shot in Carrillo now on the edge of the box plays it to his left hand side adrian joe mario oh mcnair makes a good tackle uh, but they're still on the ball jefferson and maybe cleared now Bata towards ibra but uh, naldo not the naldo i don't think it is uh, with a good interception when i say the naldo i mean he could still be called naldo i just mean the one that's not playing in the bundesliga oh a chance the ball's been played through gutierrez onto it like a flash and he hits the bar so both teams now hit the woodwork 
relatively even. I mean, that three-goal cushion is very useful indeed. Uh, but if they get one goal, we have to be a little bit wary of it. Throw in, deep in their half, back to Schweinsteiger. Shaw, back on it. Memphis, into the middle. Ooh, Damian was at the back post. A turbase, last hand from close range. And there it is. An instant impact. I've been telling you how good he is. There he is again. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I might make that a thing. I'm a fan. Um, gets his first goal that you get to see. That's his, uh, I think that's his eighth so far for us in about four games. Crazy. Memphis with it. To the back of the stick. Cleared. Herrera manages to knock it down to a turbe who quickly gives it to Zlatan, who stays on side and finishes from close range. And he's waving to the crowd, loving it. As you mentioned last episode, we we're going to do three games because of an international break we're only going to do two we're going to do this game and the game against Crystal Palace in the league I'll, I'll run you through sort of how the league has gone uh, in a sporting goal congratulations to them uh, Slimani with a decent player on this game too maybe pick him up or maybe don't I mean you've got options so the ball in from the left hand side uh, our, our centre back partnership isn't a partnership not our first choice partnership by any means. Uh, I don't think Rocco and McNair are what we were, we were hoping for at the start of the season. I mean, Rocco, obviously. We were hoping Rocco was here, but Paddy McNair, not quite at the standard we need for the Champions League. They're coming forward again. Jefferson, left side, Gutierrez. Tried to cut it across and well defended this time. I take it all back. Matter ball in. Zlatan. Ooh, I thought you know what? I thought he was going to head it in. And uh, Sporting managed to get it away, but only as far as Luke Shaw. He puts it straight back in. A turbe. What? What? Perfectly slide. Oh, apparently it was a perfectly timed slide tackle, but you never know. You've seen them given. They're coming forwards. They've hit the post. Bloody hell. Free kick. Uh, Mata puts it in. Cleared again. And do you know what? We look a little bit exposed here. If they play this right, they could be in with a chance on goal. Then again, win it back, and we could cut, we could uh, spring a counter attack. Corello on this right side makes his way into the area. He's got men in the middle. Can he pick one out? Oh, David De Gea makes a fantastic save. You might as well keep your oh, and another save. And of oh, you, you incompetent buffoon. After he made two world class saves. Oh, okay. I'm not worried. We've still got a two goal cushion. Carlos Mane, though, slides it across with his leg. De Gea saves it. He's on the floor. He's sli well, okay, he's, he's, he, I'm still watching him, not sure what he's doing. Curious. Okay, so we're now losing, which I'm not, I, sh I should arguably be more concerned about, but actually, I'm not. And in fact, we're going to switch it out of counter and pop it into standard, because I think that's what we need. A more standard performance, mate. You know what I mean? That wasn't an accent. No, I, that definitely wasn't an accent. Oh, that was just raw emotion. <laughs> emotion came out that's what it was that's all it was I'm not that, that's like I'm being sick in it I'll tell you what if they get another goal I am worried Schweinsteiger heads clear oh and Memphis maybe a chance to bring it away he does have Zlatan in the middle Zlatan in a bit of space as well if Memphis could find him that'd be quite the ball he does do Zlatan hits the bar he was offside Zlatan can be offside I don't, I don't think so I don't want I don't want people to think oh you, you love Zlatan more than the other players that's just that's not true okay that's just not true <laughs> what a what a great guy what a a turbe up to Zlatan tackled by Naldo he, oh we won't be happy about that he will not be happy about that and actually from that Sporting come forward Aquilani's on the pitch I thought Aquilani had retired just not because of injury just because of embarrassment about the Liverpool career he had I say career I mean whew. Moussa Dembele is going to come on for one matter and he's going to prove you all wrong ignore his morale ignore that okay time is winding down admittedly we might suffer a defeat here but and this is the important thing the the, the aggregate goal difference is what matters so you know, they're coming forward again jefferson to carlos main man Ma Ma oh oh my oh sh whoa okay if they score again we are out um defensive i i learned this in italy Okay, we're holding the ball well. Herrera's had a shot from miles out, but as the clock winds down, we'll take a comfortable 6-5 aggregate victory. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've lost, which I'm not happy about, but the form in the league's been good. We've beaten them uh, in the home leg, and now we've, we've succeeded in the away leg. Job done, is what I'm saying. Anyway, let's have a look at the group we get uh, in just a moment. Oh, we just got 8.57 million. I've nearly paid for Sassan's wages for three months. Capital One Cup draw, Peterborough, and we're at home to Peterborough. That is a, that is a game I think we can probably win. I hope so anyway. Okay, Champions League draw. Now the draws uh, or the seeding at least has changed. The, the winners of leagues now going to the first draw uh, or the first pot, I should say, and we're in the second pot. Uh, and the second pot is very strong indeed. And, and sort of as you go down, it makes the pot stronger and stronger. So uh, hopefully we can we can battle our way through. Uh, in in essence, really, you could get an easier team getting to someone like Zenit or Dynamo in sort of the uh, as, the, as the pot A team would be quite useful let's see who we get then this is our turn boom 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 but oh my Bayern Munich easy <gasps> that's that's Zlatan versus Guardiola 
I couldn't script this. Okay, the next team we're going to get is BAM, Basel. Oh, tricky. F uh, tri as a Liverpool fan, I know that's quite a tricky team in Europe, so hopefully we fare okay. And the final team, uh, Tel Aviv or Ghent, and we get Ghent, AA Ghent from the Belgian League. Um, do you know what? Travel wise, not bad. Quite like that. Travel wise, that's very helpful, very useful indeed. I shall book some tickets immediately. Uh, but yeah pleased okay then folks this is the team we're going to put out against crystal palace in our league game uh, let's have a little look at the league then see how we're getting on uh, arsenal top of the league 12 points uh, we're actually a game behind at this point so we've dropped down a little bit uh, city everton chelsea west ham and leicester all above me uh, but we can leapfrog the majority of those if we win today uh, stoke watford norwich uh, not too far behind villa newcastle and sunderland in the bottom three that is peculiar i mean Yes, that that's literally what it is. Uh, only one change from the team that played Sporting. Uh, Marcus Rojo has come in for Paddy McNair, uh, and hopefully we can get good, yeah a good result. Crystal Palace, the team we're playing against. Uh, let's see how we get on. Apparently, Crystal Palace's task has not been made easier by the absence of Conor Wickham. I argue it has been made easier because they don't have to pick him. They're playing Shamak against me, uh, and Balassi's on the bench. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Right, we're going to start in standard. Why not? Okay. So, early stages. Let's see who has the first shot. It was us. We had two. two. I, you don't win anything for that. You don't get anything for that at all. This is the story of how Swedish outsider... This is the story of how a Swedish outsider rose from poverty to become a football genius. Well, I didn't know the guy from ABBA was a footballer. Right, big clearance up towards Ibra, but uh, Scott Dan made an interception. Zlatan versus Scott Dan, a meeting of minds. Okay, first sort of good spell of possession for us. Memphis is on it. He's got Shaw making the overlapping run. Memphis cuts inside and shoots wide. I do feel like that is something we might see a lot. Not just in-game, but outside of the game. Right, another chance potentially to get it to Zlatan so we can hold it up. In actual fact, Memphis made a darting run and now it's into Zlatan. Not too many options though, so I'm not sure what he thinks he's going to do. He just has a shot. He just thinks, do you know what, I'll shoot from here. This is the best option. Let's bring the league table up on the other side just so we can keep a track of it. Oh, ball into the middle. Oh, and Zlatan heads it in. Yes! Yes, my boy. I'm treating this like the Bible. So Matter with a free kick. Chip lofts it in there. Beautiful lofting ball. And Zlatan on his head. Fire, heads it past the keeper and that puts us into a 1-0 lead before the half potentially another highlight and Zlatan is on the ball so I must talk about it Memphis on this left side again the overlapping run coming from uh, Luke Shaw Schweinsteiger back out to Memphis who's got a little bit of space to manoeuvre in towards Zlatan oh and, and Hangeland has, has brought him down or he's hurt him in some way and Zlatan with a chance to make it two it's the best signing I've ever made and I've said that before it might be early days Zlatan here let's see if we can uh, convert the penalty his name is Zlatan Cut that bit out. Cut that bit out. That didn't happen. All right, so 1-0 uh, as we get ever closer to half-time. A brief highlight here. Schweinsteiger shot at goal wide. Uh, really, aside from the goal, there's a bit... You didn't cut it out. Uh, so at half-time, things are going well. 1-0 uh, lead. Could be two. Wouldn't like to say how. Uh, but yeah, we go into the second half with high spirits. Let's get out there. I can't believe he missed a penalty. Genuinely can't believe he's missed a penalty. Okay, there actually aren't that many highlights. Oh, Zlatan has picked up a knock. Do we take him off? Yes, we do. 50%. He must He must withdraw. Uh, Marshall can come on, though, which would be nice. And Moussa Dembele is going to come on again, this time for Ander Herrera. Hopefully, both of them make some sort of impact. Positive impact. Make some sort of positive impact. I'm immediately more nervous than I should be. Do you know what? A 1-0 away at Crystal Palace. Alan Pardew has got these boys well drilled. I'll do anything to get a victory here. Not anything. I'll do numerous things. Not necessarily anything. And as I say all this, the clock winds down. There's about a minute left on it or so. Maybe a second goal for us. Marshall, forward to Massa. Marshall now fresh legs. Dembele, equally fresh. And he's been tackled from behind by Scott Dan. Apparently it was a clean tackle. Good tackle. Oh, and Dan's got it again. And potentially a late Crystal Palace sting is going to happen. Oh my God, I was joking. Zaha into the box maybe. Shot from distance well wide. The former Manchester United man not doing what you would expect from a player of such quality. Uh, with 20 seconds left on the clock, David De Gea takes a free kick. Or oh, a free kick, a goal kick. I mean, it is free. He didn't have to pay for it. He does get that kick for free because it was kicked out. But it's not described as a free kick. It's a goal kick. They came forward again. He I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit nervous. Two, one. Woo! Happy New Year! I mean, 1 0. Manchester United against Crystal Palace. There it is then. A good victory. Not the most convincing of episodes, I must say. The, the games we had sort of off uh, video making were, were better than this. It's a disappointment. Like, no, can I cover that? How do we cover that? Zlatan with the winning goal, the most important goal, and that's what matters. Uh, that's what matters. It all links in. So, that does indeed bring up. Because Giroud scored four in a game. 
sorry uh that brings us to the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed it do leave a like on it thank you for the support recently very much love to you from me uh so we love with care from me dr benji until next time stay humble stay handsome and i'll see you again goodbye it's the last time mr penalty and Giroud got four i'm gonna send this back <laughs>